Hi, and thank you for stopping by at Sonova. I wanted to do a short, real short video tutorial on minor quarters based off of the Monica Carryall back from Orarosa. I had someone ask if I can make a separate video explaining um, basically step 12. So in step 12, we're going to be, you, you're basically starting to create these beautiful minor corners and this is a faux, a faux bag because I didn't make the actual bag. I just made a quick test version. Um, you're basically mitering the corners and removing the bolts. So that way when you turn the bag, you have this beautiful inside detail of kind of like a blanket, like a quilt, like somebody else said. Um, Alexis made a great pattern because this is bringing something very new to the um, bag making world. So I'm going to go over briefly step 12, which goes over figure, if you're following along um, and need more assistance on this step, we're going to be basically looking at um, figure number 32, 33, 34, and 35, the miter corners. So you're already done, you're done on, on, you look at the previous step on 31, you just got done um, sewing the bag together and you, um, you, you get the three eighths of an inch box so that way you didn't go in it and you have these little floppy dog ears on the side so uh for the sake of tutorial i'm only making i made one i do have a full length video for the monica carry all bag and around the 40 i want to say 40 42 in 42 minutes, 40 for uh 42 minute mark is when i go over the dog ears and i you go through i do show you how i do it on all four corners but um, this is a very up close picture and shot, so hopefully it can assist you. So you just finished um, your three eighths of an inch all the way around, except uh, you're seeing a lot, you did the three inches on all four sides and stopping three eighths of an inch at each end. From there, you're, you have your ears are floppy. You're going to take your dog ears. I call them dog ears. I don't know why. You're going to take the ears of the bag and you're going to... Um, pin or clip all raw edges together. And what I do next is I take a gridded uh, mat like this and I line up this angle to a line. So I know that this line, everything's flush. So right here, I'm going to, I, I'm going to use green so that you can see it better. Right here is where these stitches end. The ones that you just did to put the, um, the, the main panel and the exterior back together. We are trying to do a 45 degree angle on your ruler to match the line that of stitches we just had, we just made. So dog ears, clip, make sure all raw edges are put together. Then you find the 45 degree angle on your ruler and you are just matching up. You're going to be drawing, I'm sorry, I'm just like moving this thing and I'll stop it making a lot of noise. You're going to be using the 45 degree angle and you're going to draw a line from where the previous stitches went down. So here's the stitches and I have a line that goes down. Then we're going to draw a 3 8 of an inch box. And if you're like me and you struggle with finding tick marks on the rulers, again, I do recommend Westcott rulers um, on Amazon because each one, they show one eighth of an inch for each box. So it's just really easy to figure out. And I'm not trying to <laughs> find certain lines or triple checking myself. I know each one is one eighth of an inch. So when I do, what I'm going to go now is I'm going to go to the sewing machine and stitch from where I stopped all the way down. Now you're not trying to catch any of the, you're not trying to stitch any of the other materials down. So just make sure that you're stitching not above the line, but directly below back stitch, back stitch. And I will bring this right back. It's, um, I will bring this right back. Mm -hmm. 
So, of course, trim your strings. <laughs> Don't be like me. Keep them all everywhere. So, you stitch the row. And what you're going to do now is you are going to, you're on, still on step 12. But now you're on um, figure number 35. And you're going to cut that 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. If you need to draw in that 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance, by all means, do so. I, I'm a person that has to. And you're not going to cut any of the exterior or any other panels, just this part. Then you're going to go in and snip close to this, the, the stitches near like one eighth of an inch off. Do not cut into your stitches because that would not be great. We're going to just cut out this little box that we need, the three eighths of an inch box. And from there we go, you proceed to the next steps. But that's exactly how you do it. Um, it's really easy. You're just basically connecting the last row of stitches that you did on this side down here. So when everything like lays flush and you're done taping and doing all the other measurements and snipping, it'll, you'll have a really beautiful miter corner. Um, now, grant you, there's steps in between this that you're going to have to do with like double-sided tape. And there's another measurement right after that on um, step 13 where you're going to have to extend the 45 degree angle out and the, um, to cut away the excess bulk. And then you're, you, then there's a double-sided tape and duct taping and then you get to turn it all out and you get to see your beautiful work. But um, her, her method is very brilliant. It's like making a baby blanket or a quilt or a fleece blanket. It's very, it's very lush and it gives the bag a very unique and classy look. So it's really simple. You're just, again, connecting the lines from where you had your little dog ears and going down, clipping off that box. And that's it. And then you wind up getting this, this thing. This is, that is step 12. And just, again, really look at the pictures on page 17 and 18, um, figures 32, 32 to 35. Um, there's really great pictures, and it shows you exactly frame by frame how to line it up. Actually, I believe Alexis doesn't even have a grid on hers. I believe it's a wood table. <laughs> I have to have the grid because I need to see the straight line. And that that's it. it the... I think, I think the, the hard part is because we've never seen this in a bag before that we can get stuck on it. But if you follow her process, you're going to wind up getting a wonderful bag. There is very, there's a method to her techniques that helps with the follow through for something incredibly unique, just like miter corners in the bag. So if you have any additional questions, please post them down below. And I will be more than willing to answer them. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day, a great weekend, and I'll be talking to you real soon. Like, subscribe, and comment. Have a good night or good day. <laughs> Goodbye.